Alright guys, how you doing? It's Rabia. I hope you're all good. So it gives me great pleasure to put this video out online because it's for my main dude, my brother from another, Peter Honoré from Anderson's TV. He's a great friend of mine. I'm sure you all know and love him. What an incredible guitar player as well. Just all around legend. And this is something he's been working on for quite a while and now it's finally out in the world. And it is his brand new signature Thorpey FX the Dane pedal. So this is the box. I'm very happy to say that serial number is beer uh, 001. So I think this is the first official production line Dane, which means a lot, man. Thank you very much. I'm really excited to get into this. Um, basically, Pete is, as you know, a sort of bluesy, sort of jazzy bluesy sort of guy. Uh, really loves the sort of telly and the strat and of course he's got his purple telly and knowingly his pedal is also purple which is awesome and even the lights when you turn it on are purple so the whole thing is purple-fied like his purple telly which is his number one guitar and he plays that like just so well and every time you sit and listen to him you're like damn it but anyway that's the kind of stuff he likes, the sort of stratty, fendery tones, and this pedal is kind of an amalgamation of those tones. So on one side you've got a drive, which is not like fierce amounts of drive, it's just a nice amount of drive uh, and volume. And then you've got a tone in the middle, and then you've got a boost on the right hand side, which gives you, of course, uh, I think it's like 20 dB boost, or maybe even more, it's a lot. So, and then underneath you've got lows, which is like the low end resonance behind some of those notes that when you dig in, uh, you really feel it, you know? So it's a really straightforward pedal. You can switch either side on independently. So if you just want a clean boost, you can do that on the right hand side. But if you want the drive, you can do that as well or stack them together. I'm gonna be running this into my Victory VX Kraken. Basically, I figured, you know, Pete's gonna have demoed this as well as the pedal show and all those guys that use sort of more cleaner amps and stuff. So I'm gonna do it how I do it. So into my Kraken, into my two notes torpedo, then captured by my Universal Audio Apollo 8P interface. Let's see what it sounds like. Okay, so the signal chain, I'm gonna be using my Fender Strat because I figured, you know, it's a Strat kind of vibed pedal, so why not? But I'm going into the front of my VX Kraken because I figured I'm gonna do it my way. I know everyone's, you know, may have used this in front of like a Fender Twin. I wanna go in front of a Kraken and we're gonna try it in all different applications. I wanna, you know, get some nice clean tones, but I'm gonna get some brutal tones. I'm gonna to try it. Someone's gonna ask me in the comment section if it gents, so I'm gonna use my baritone to find out if that is the case. Anyway. This is the sound of the guitar. The reverb you're hearing is the Lexicon 224 plugin from Universal Audio. And I'm gonna start with the boost side. Both are at halfway, turns in the middle, so here we go. Here it comes.
I knew I was going to like this pedal before I did this demo, just because it's the kind of thing I like. I love Pete's playing, I love the tones he gets, and I also enjoy playing with strats and push clean bluesy stuff. And it sounds really good. I'm really enjoying it. That's just a lovely tone. <laughs> I'll be sat here for hours playing. Anyway, um, so yeah, basically the lows, you can really hear them if I take it all the way out, so. I like it with quite a lot of lows in, and we'll go with the range of the boost, so here we go. Anyway, sounds sick. Right, I'm gonna turn that side off. Actually, just to remind you of where we came from. So, really into that. So let's try the drive. So I've put them both at halfway. So remember, we got level, which is gonna push the front like really intensely. We'll get loads of gain out the front, so I might just drop that off. But then the level of the drive, I'm gonna start that down here. So here we go. It's a warm, rounded kind of drive. You know, it really fills out that, that kind of tone. Like I said, I've put it really low gain on the crack, and this is a low output guitar, of course, but. It's a really nice saturated tone. Um, so anyway, I'm going to boost the volume. Sounds really good.
this. Gonna carry on cranking it. Okay, so that's a sound that we didn't think we were gonna get. This is serious. Now this is So for me, in front of the Kraken, gunned both of these, gunned, what a sound. It's just dimed, but it just has such a sound to it. And again, I can, let's throw in a bit more tone like that. Sounds sick. Right, let's throw in the boost on top. I think at this point it calls for the baritone. So I think it's fair to say that that most certainly gents. I mean, it's not your go-to progressive metal tone, but that is not anything short of insanely fierce. <laughs> I mean it's just all out isn't it anyway let's try let's try see what else we can achieve with the baritone
So there you go guys, there's a look at Pete's signature Dane pedal from Thorpey Effects. I am really, really happy for Pete, man. Like, he's such a legend, and he's done so much with his career already. He's such a prolific guitarist in so many ways, and I'm just so proud of him as a, as a mate. And then to be able to play something that he's directly influenced the tone of and enjoy it and be genuine about that is just awesome. So thank you so much, Pete, for, for, for sending this to me and for Adrian from Thorpey Effects. And, yeah, I mean... There's going to be tons of videos out there, especially of people playing it in the way it's meant to be, but I figured, why not just crank it, get a baritone out, and just see how filthy you can make it sound? And it really does sound filthy in a really satisfying way. I'm really impressed that it handled the baritone, and it was clear and there was chord definition, but of course this thing's meant to be played with the Strat in beautiful, clean, bluesy tones, so... Don't necessarily take this video as as a serious demonstration of like its its pros and cons or whatever, because it's more just me checking it out and just giving a big hearty shout out to my main man Pete. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section. If you're interested in picking one of these up, even though they are limited, there will be hopefully some by the time this video is out. So I'll put a link in the description box. But in any case, like, subscribe, and share, and I will see you all very soon.